we are going to show you how you can turn your chart into a blank canvas. Now this is a really underknown and underappreciated fact about TradingView where you can literally draw, take notes, create custom visualizations, and even draw out some really creative diagrams uh, right here on the chart. So watch what we do here. We right click, we go to settings. Now the first step is essentially turning this chart into a blank canvas for our work. So we're going to uncheck body, so that unchecks the body of each candle here. Uncheck borders, so just got rid of the borders that we're showing. Uncheck wick, and as you can see we've now gotten rid of the candles, we're hiding them. Now we're going to uncheck last price line, that's this line here, pre and post market. And we are also going to uncheck our symbol description, our open, high, low, close values. And we're pretty much just going to hide everything. And the reason why we're doing this is so that we can create the blank canvas. You can see Google's still showing here. We're going to remove that. And then of course our countdown to bar close is showing. So what we're really doing is we're just showing you a step-by-step -step guide to um, this blank canvas creation. Now we had an alert on this chart. We're going to remove that alert. As you can see we have our volume here. Let's also hide that. So we're getting there. We now have this blank canvas. We're going to do one more step. Go to settings. We're going to go to appearance. Vert grid lines, horizontal grid lines. That is these gray lines going up and down and then right and left. Why don't we also hide those for now so that we have a completely white canvas and here it is. Now check this out. We take our drawing paintbrush and what we can do is draw. So we draw this, this, and we just made ourselves a smiley face. Now we're not the best drawers ever, but the point is, is we have this wide open canvas now to create a drawing of anything that we want. For example, maybe we want to create a diagram to illustrate something that's important to us, like a, a flow diagram. So we add a rectangle here. Uh, at the top, we're going to write buy the dip. So why don't we just have some fun and make a flow diagram of if we should buy the dip or not. And we're going to make step one to this flow diagram of, you know, did the ticker drop 10% or more? And let's put this here. Let's add another arrow because we're going to make this go to the left and to the right for a yes or no. So this would be yes. And so it did drop 10% or more. This would be no, so it didn't drop 10% or more. And for this example, then that simply means don't buy the dip. It's just not big enough. The reason why, 10%, let's wait for a much bigger drop. So we're just making this fun little flow diagram. Okay, but did the ticker drop 10% or more? Yes. Well, let's ask ourselves another question. Is it a good ticker? Meaning, is the fundamental case bullish? Is it a real business or valuable asset? So why are we adding that? It's because, well, did the ticker drop 10% or more? Yes. Well, is it actually something valuable? Is it worth trading or is it worth buying? So we do two arrows once again. Let's take yes here, we'll just copy it. Let's take no, and let's put no here. And so, yes, well, actually let's do no first, no. So buy the dip, did the ticker drop 10% or more? No, don't buy it. Just extend this arrow, we're doing this in real time. Did the ticker drop 10% or more? Yes. Okay, well, let's ask ourselves another question. Is it actually a fundamentally sound company or asset? And let's say the answer is no. Well, guess what? Once again, we're going to copy this. Don't buy the dip. 
But if it is, it dropped 10% or more, it's a good ticker. You think that there's a fundamentally bullish case. It's a real business or valuable asset. In that case, BTFD, buy the effing dip. So we just created a buy the dip diagram just like that. And just to backtrack to show you how we did that, we right clicked on the chart, we went to settings, in symbol we unchecked all of these boxes. Remember, body is how you hide the body of each candle or line or a Renko chart that's showing, borders, wick, we even hid the last price line, see that. We also made sure several other lines were not showing in the status line menu, in scales, as well as going to the appearance and hiding the vertical grid lines and horizontal grid lines. And remember, opacity, you can just change that here. Watch what happens when we scale this up. The lines appear, we're going to scale them down, and they are gone. So this is a blank canvas, and that is one really unique way you can use TradingView. You don't always have to chart assets. You can actually have some fun and create diagrams, or, you know, we've seen some people actually keep notes on their chart. So they literally have a note-taking chart, and every day they have a new note or observation about the market, you know. They have observations written here, and then, of course, there is sort of this field, a text field, and they go ahead and they just keep their notes in them. And in this case, inside, right, and now we can write some notes. This is a note. We'll change the font color, and it's right in here in the, in the rectangle we drew. This is a note, and we will share some insights in here going forward. So we hope that this tutorial helped. You can ask any questions in the comments below and our team will help you out. Also, if you have product feedback or requests, please also share that. We are more than happy to try to build something for you. Thanks for watching.